Hello everyone and welcome to Hack Informer HD. Now today I'm going to show you how to install VHBL on a 3.63 or lower Vita. If you guys do not know what VHBL is, it's pretty much a program on your Vita that allows you to run any emulators such as GBA or SNES. The installation is fairly simple and doesn't require a second Vita. So while we're here, let's get to it. Alright, so there's a couple requirements when it comes to installing VHBL on your Vita. The most important will be a PSP based game. Now in this case, I'll be using the Loco Roco Midnight Carnival demo that can be found on the PSN store. Next up, you'll need QCMA, the VHBL Pboot Zip, and PS Vita Image Tools front end. Alright, so when we're done getting all our files, we're going to go ahead and open up our VHBL Pboot Unrestricted.zip. Now we're going to want to transfer that VHBL0123 folder to our psave data. Now if you don't know where your psave data is located, head over to your settings in QCMA and copy the file path that leads to your application slash backups. From there you should see your psave data and in there a folder with a bunch of just letters and numbers in it. Go ahead and go into that and store your VHBL file there. Now, please make sure you refresh your database after transferring over your VHBL save file, as if you don't, you will not be able to see the save file when transferring it over to the Vita. Alright, so when we're on our Vita, we're going to go ahead and install our VHBL save file from our PC onto our Vita. Then once we are done that, we're going to go ahead and back up our PSP base game. Now I'm using Loco Roco Midnight Carnival, but once again, it can be any PSP game of your choosing. Now, not going to lie, depending on your base game file size, it might take some time to transfer from your Vita to your PC. Alright, so when we're back on our computer, we're going to head over to this link over here I have in the description below. PSV to image tools by silica and you're going to copy it into your browser or go to link. I don't know. <laughs> and it should download this zip file here. Now you're going to want to extract it somewhere. So I'm going to create a folder real quick on my desktop and call it PSV image tools and just whoop, open this up. Boom. Copy or drag and drop. Alright, so there, start installation. Don't worry, there's no viruses or anything. It's completely safe. Uh, I accept this agreement. Yep, yep. Alright, wait for that to install. Alright, so once it's installed, we're going to go ahead and start it up. From there, we're going to click on Easy Installer and then hit VHBL and then hit Install. Then you're just going to go ahead and click on your PSN name and then find your PSP base game. Now you just simply wait till everything's done and once it says the process is complete, you can go ahead and head back to our Vita. Alright, so once back on our Vita, we're going to go ahead and transfer back over that PSP base game that we just modified. And from there, everything should be done. Now, once you're done transferring, we can go ahead and start up VHBL. Now, be wary, you will be greeted with a white screen, which is fine, it's absolutely normal. Just wait till it passes, and whatever you do, please do not close the program while this is going on, as you could corrupt, corrupt VHBL. Alright guys, if this video was helpful in any way, please hit that like button. If you need help or have any questions, just leave a comment, I'll be answering these questions all week. And to keep it up to date with all the hacking news, hit that subscribe button. I'll be seeing you guys later. Just the Rennie, signing out. Peace.